Hey, what's going on? Charles Austin here. And listen, let's be real. You should never exercise or work out on an empty stomach, okay? So um, in my 15 or so years of being a coach and trainer, I have seen this happen so many times that I can't, I don't have enough hands. I don't have enough hands or fingers to count how many times this has happened, right? So somebody will come to a workout um, and they'll start working out and everything's going well, right? They're killing it. They're doing, they're doing awesome. But then, you know, you know, about 20 minutes in, 30 minutes in or whatever, you know, they, they start to get a little bit more pale. Um, they start to sweat a lot. Um, their eyes start to look a little, a certain kind of way. And then I know immediately, and, you know, I'll, I'll kind of, you know, mess with them a little bit. I'm like, Hey, so, uh, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Um, and they'll say, Oh, you know, I didn't eat anything, but I'll be all right. And I'll say, well, how much water did you have this morning? Oh, you know, I don't really like to drink water before, so I'll be all right. And I kind of just keep going with the workout, even though I know what's coming, right? And then eventually, um, you know, they start to get a little dizzy, get a little lightheaded. They feel like you're, you're going to throw up, um, a little nauseous, right? And then they have to sit down. Um, and then a lot of times they'll feel like, hey, if I just sit down a few seconds, I'll be all right. And I'm like, sure, go ahead, right? Um, but eventually they realize that, hey, you know, I'm not going to be able to continue this workout. It's just not going to work. Okay. So that, you know, that situation that I described has probably happened to some of you before. And the reason is you didn't have any fuel in your stomach, right? And by fuel, obviously I mean food, right? So, um, the, 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 you know, you're, I'm not saying you have to eat like this gourmet, you know, three course breakfast or whatever like that, right? But you do want to make sure you're putting things in your stomach that we're gonna that are gonna give you energy. Okay, so um, if you're somebody who doesn't really like to eat in the morning before you work out, uh, do things like fruit juice or um, you know have some almonds and some fruit or um, uh, even a protein shake or um, just something that's light that um, you're able to uh, digest pretty easily to give your body some some energy. Okay, and then also you never want to go to a workout without having any water, all right? Because obviously your muscles need water, you're gonna need sweat to cool your body off, and that's that's gonna need water, um, so on and so forth, so many benefits from, from water. So um, definitely make sure you have something in your stomach and make sure you have water. Uh, and then real quick, about the, uh, the, the type of foods you wanna eat, you do wanna make sure that there's some type of carbohydrate, you know, with uh, your meal or your snack or whatever, because your body is going to break it down, turn it into glucose, right? And that's that's the energy that you need. Um, and that's that feeling you get, uh, the, the lightheadedness, the dizziness, the nausea, and all that kind of stuff. That comes from having no glucose in your body. Um, and then you're you're stressing your body even more. And now your body's like, no, you need to shut this down. And that's why you end up having to sit down and quit the workout. So um, listen, let's be real. Don't work out on an empty stomach. You're in. You're going to end up not finishing that workout at all. Hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow me on social media at Fitness Charles and visit fitnesscharles.com to get access to my 12-week transformation coaching system.